What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle, the day in the world of indie games. We're going to be checking out that fresh fire that everybody's been looking forward to. A little game called No Rest for the Wicked. As far as I can tell, this is a Soulsy inspired RPG from the people that made Ori in the Blind Forest. Those among, I don't know if I've ever really talked about it. I don't, I don't like platformers at all, but I like Ori. Ori is one of the few platformers that I ever considered to be kind of valid. One of those games that was a platformer, but didn't really feel like a platformer. It was one of those games that I kind of skated on through and really enjoyed. So I, I hold them in very high regard. And so I'm expecting this RPG to be pretty rad. Today we're going to dive in for about 30 minutes, take a look at the titles, see if it's something you wanted to add to your wish list or pass on. This one's in early access like everything else in gaming right now, but somebody in Twitch chat said that they're 10 hours in and they're still not done, so it seems like there's some content there. So we're going to dive on in, see if it's something you wanted to add to your wish list or if it's a big old pass from you. If after watching this you want to get the game for yourself, i got a link for you down below in the description. On top of that, you can also take a look down there and you'll find a link to my Discord and my Twitch stream just in case you wanted to hang out live, but let's go ahead and knock this thing on out. These are my absolute first impressions. I basically got past like the little tutorial section of the game and then just sort of dove in once it seemed like there was action to show off. But so far the game feels pretty good. It feels weighty. It feels meaty. I can sidle along the wall. Yeah, let's do that right there. We'll do some Assassin's Creed stuff. Uh, we are on a ship. We're some kind of guy called like a Serum. Uh, which apparently is something that people don't like, like a witcher or something. I don't know. Nobody seems to be super happy that I'm on board right now. They all just want me to get off and, like, say that I'm cursed or whatever. And so we are under attack by piratical forces. Ow. Dirty. Didn't have to be like that. Boy. I'm going to need you to relax, sir. 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 Can you calm down for me? I'm trying to hit him with the parry right there on the middle, but it's not working out so good for me right now. There's one right there. And down he goes. Is he going to drop anything that's going to be useful? What you got for me? A small vial of stamina. I'm going to eat some mushroom soup because nothing but fungus can make the pain go away. And it looks like we can open up the door right here. What does the potion do? Freak the potion real fast. Apparently, it just makes me like a little bit more speedier. I need the captain's quarters key. Okay, looks like there's some loot over this way, too. Captain's quarters key! Exactly what we were looking for. It's gonna be worse on the deck, isn't it, dude? There's no way that it's not gonna be gnarly up here when I arrive. Let's see if we can sneak up on this dude and take him down. Yeah, there we go. Get got, son. Oh, he didn't die after his impalement? What's up with you, man? You all right over here? I tried to fight like you, but I, c I can't. My name's not what. It's... I guess I don't ever get to know his name. He's not going to finish off his narrative arc. Unfortunate. A fish, eh? I'll take a fish. It's an ingredient. It appears as though there's like a cooking system inside of the game. They already ran me through it. Let's move up to the top decks. The game has very striking visuals. Really good looking title right there. Not a bad looking game. Has kind of like a Warcrafty stylization to it as well. Good lip syncing right there, too. That was actually, like, shockingly... I've been seeing a lot of really bad lip syncing lately. And that was pretty decent by comparison to what you normally see. I gotta watch my stamina meter, dude. I think I have, like, the stamina of a four-year-old. I don't think I have very much stamina. I think this guy wants the smoke, though. I'm gonna help out with this battle. What you wanna do, Chief? What you wanna do? Okay. He wants to cut me in the face. Fair enough. I think he's done. I think he's all finished off. 
strangely enough, the game does not pause when I go into the options menu. I was trying to take a look. I think maybe the, the reflecty effects are getting in way of each other right now, so I was going to fiddle with things. But I kind of have, like, a scrum on my hands. Yeah, let's just keep them back. There's one down. He's finished. Next one, what you got for me? Show me that good stuff, bro. You better bring your A game. I'm going to put holes in you. I'm going to put holes in you. All right, let's continue on down the chain, see what we got going on here. Oh, that guy wants to fight me too. Everybody wants to fight me out here. All right, big block. Let's see if I can get him with one right there. He is standing afore the flames. Don't do that. There we go. Let me get that parry right there. Give him a little bit of that action. Oh, he got me with the second one. I tried to parry the first. Get him with a little tap. Another parry right there. Drop him real fast. All right, what are we doing here? Handle. Like right there. Let's go, little handle. It's time for me to get off this boat. I'm going to help out the crew a little bit, though, because I have, like, a sneaking suspicion that this is probably all my fault. Like, I don't want to sound like I'm selfish, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not, like, trying to be the meme, like, get out there and make this about you. But it does kind of feel like they attacked because I'm on the ship. You know what I mean? Let's move over here. A few more guys brawling on this side. I'm going to like... Oh, he got me with the cut right there. Looks like he's a little bit tuned up already, though. Ow, no stamina left. A little stamina meter could afford to be a little bit bigger or a little bit more prominent for my eye. I'm having trouble seeing the little circle while there's so much visual excellence going on. Uh, he just shield bashed that guy. Big parry. Light him up. Give him a little love tap right there. Got the parry right there on that first little flick. Oh, he got me right there. Fall back till I get stamina. I think I'm early on that one right there. Yeah, it's got kind of like a flick motion to it. Like, there's definitely a sweet spot, and you can feel it for the parries. All right, are we going this way? Oh, there's a big guy. My man seemed kind of angry right now. I'm just going to, like, try to stay the hell away from that enormous axe. It seems like he has beef right now, and I'm more than happy to cook it up, but I'm also not trying to get smote. Oh, wow, he does damage, too. I learned something today. Ow! Okay, all right, all right. Give me a little bit of food. Take him out, finish him off. But I am here. That's the problem. It's too late for fairy tales. It's too late for any of us. So, it's true. The king is dead. Long live the king. He was a great man, and a good friend. I, I will mourn him. We will all mourn him. Your father's soul is at rest now, King Magnus. The people look to you for strength. I offer my condolences and my counsel 
as I did for your father for The many Great years. Pestilence has returned, Lord Bowers. Uh, yes, I have heard the rumors. They're not rumors. Even now, it ravages the island of Sacra just off our own shores, turning their men and women into unspeakable things. The Pestilence is a punishment upon those who have lost their faith. Is it now? How convenient. You question the church. You're not the church, Madrigal. You're just the tip of its spear. Enough. Whatever the cause of this sickness, I cannot allow it to spread. My father has been weak for many years. I will begin my reign doing what he could not. My king, you are grieving. I must recommend against it. It's already done. Tomorrow, Madrigal Selene and her Inquisition will set sail for Sacra. I promise we will cleanse the island of this wickedness. Our new king's faith in the church is well placed. Our king's faith was never in question. Ellsworth is a strong ruler, your grace. Sacra will recover. No. Sacra will be reborn. This is my responsibility to the kingdom. With God's hands, we will reach into every corner of the island and bring it like a newborn babe, screaming into the light. I'm alive! I'm not a dead guy! I have little tiny chicken legs and giant gorilla arms and a golden horn. So I was noticing some jaggies along the edges of everything and a little bit of kind of like a RGB blur around like the hair and stuff like that when characters were talking. I think it's because the game starts with very, very high sharpness settings. I was going through the settings and trying to figure it out and like fiddle with it to get that to go away and make the whole thing look smoother. Horseshoe crab over there. I don't have a sword anymore, do I? I don't have a sword anymore. All right, we're just like... A washed up doofus at this point. Can I get like a bottle or like a cutlass or anything down here? There's got to be something around here. I can. S these crabs are they hostile? I mean, they can catch these hands anyways. This game rated E for everyone, along with these hands. Let's do it. Ooh, we got a jump kick right there, dude. We just karate the shit out of that crab. Nice, bro. I can probably eat him too at some point. Are you alive? You look kind of stiff and dead. What's going on over here? I knew it. <coughs> never brought you, on board. you ever find it weird how it's always the captain that survives in this trope of like washed up on an island? It's always the captain. Nobody else ever makes it. You'll never make it to Sacrament over here. This coast is crawling with the risen. <laughs> oh. The waves. Can you feel them, Father? We're back at sea. I thought they said we were on our way to Sacramento for a little bit, and I was like, eh, that's not that far. That's like, what, 35 minutes? That's not terrible. Yeah, eat that mushroom, dude. That was an accidental button push, but sure. Uh, we do have an inventory system in this game. It seems like you can have weapons, you can have armor, you can have pants, all that kind of stuff. We'll take a weapon for right now, but maybe someday I will get to have, you know, pants. Uh, it looks like we have weight to be taken into accordance as well, based on the weapons and also the armor that we're wielding. I don't feel like the club does that much more damage to the crabs than the other stuff I was doing. Oh, that guy's got armor and stuff. What's going on over here? We got some blueness over here. Five bucks? Best trip ever. I love five dollars. Can't really buy anything for five dollars anymore. That's gone. But, you know, I still like five dollars. I guess on kind of a fundamental level, I suppose. Dead guy being eaten. A copper ore. Okay, so I'm seeing a lot of resources. Yeah, crush those nuts. <laughs> he had the worst day ever. Of all the ways you could attack a human being, <laughs> sweep the leg, he falls onto his back, and then just nut crush him like four times. <laughs> That's called Terrible Friday right there. Uh, spend gain focus by unleashing weapon runes. I can toggle my rune hand. Rune hand! I toggle thee. So it looks like it was some kind of like stabbing spear attack, I guess. 
This guy had kebabs, though. I'm always down for kebabs. And then a fishing rod. Can I actually fish? Aw, oh, sweet, I can, dude. I've got harvesting tools and stuff, so there's going to be, like, a crafting system in here, too. If I want to fish, how do I fish? There we go. Throw that thing on out there. Nice! I caught a carp. Can I, like, go further out into the water? Or do bad things happen if I go out into the water? Like, how much does this game encourage exploration? Because I feel very passionately about exploration. Uh, it looks like we've got a Artemisia's Herb right there as a reward for my exploration. Oh, we can swim! Well, that's a delightful change. Normally in games like this, the guy's a goober that can't swim, so there you go. We can swim. We don't drown instantaneously and die and, like, drop our stuff or anything. Looks like he mantles on his own, too. It's good stuff. What do we have over here? A little, little treasury chest. Looks like we got three bucks. We've got a weapon shard for crafting weapons, and we've got a copper ingot. Okay, I'm down for this experience. Uh, how do I get into this place? Does the camera rotate or anything? It's got to be an entrance, right? Yeah, there we go. A whisper. You can rest and record your progress here. Okay, so it's a bonfire. Gotcha. The Sarim Whisper. I don't know what channeling the whisper does, but whatever. We'll break all these crates. Does that hatch open? The hatch doth not open. And it doesn't look like anything dropped right there either. Something activated when I went over there, but I'll check it in a minute. Big old rat. Let's beat him down real quick. Maybe, like, eat him. It's a big rat. He's probably got some solid rat shank on him. Telling me you're not going to eat your rat shank? If you're not going to eat yours, I'm going to eat mine. All right? So... I'll take yours if you don't want it. Jumping is handled automatically in this game, like something you would have seen in, like, A Link to the... Or, I'm sorry, like, something like Ocarina of Time. Oh, God, it hurts so much. Okay, I'm just going to run away. Can I... Will he follow me? Let's find out if his AI is that good. Will he follow me and jump across? It looks like he won't. Can I, like, knock him off the ledge or anything? Let's bait out some swings. I am getting a little trapped, though. Fall back. Oh, he's stunned? All right, I'm going to use that to heal real fast. Okay. You got the big boy thunks over here. Down here. Oh, did his head come off when I smashed him? I think it did, dude. That was awesome. All right, so we've got $7, a few more weapon shards. Sure. What is that? An armor shard for making armor. They're about to pitch armor building to me, aren't they? I'll take the crabs. I'll take his loot for sure because I don't know what money's going to be useful for in this game. And you can never quite have enough of it. It looks like this might actually be a loot back because that ladder's not lowered yet. All right. Let's keep having a little look around. Oh, there's a thing up there. How do I get that? Oh, dude, you can do this right here. I didn't expect the exploration to be like Z-leveled out like this. A dollar. Okay. All right. Uh, fall damage doesn't seem to be hideously terrible. What was this? A note? A journal? I don't care about that. I never read anything in games. I have channeled. Hopefully that has saved my game. Let's walk around the outside. Around the outside? Yes, around the outside, chat. And then we'll move ourselves up a little log and plank over here, dude. Apparently, I got a tightrope walk this thing. I'm definitely going to go for the treasure chest, though. I will 100% put my life at risk for treasure. What you got for me? We got some wood and some copper. All right. Damn, my man is spry. I probably couldn't have hit that jump. That's all that I'm saying. In real life, I'd be in trouble. Another dead guy over here, and another ladder that I can't lower. Okay. Something tells me that my exploratory bent that I have, I'm a very exploratory person. I'm the kind of person that can't move on until I've checked every single corner of every single map and, like, ran against walls looking for secrets. It sabotages my progress in games a lot. But it looks like over here we can cook at this fire pit. 
might not be a terrible idea. I only know how to make mushroom soup right now, but the mushroom soup did seem to make me feel pretty good and give me full health, so I'm going to make a bunch of those. Can I just throw other things in there and, like, see what happens? Can I... It looks like I may need to actually find recipes first. I didn't know if we were going to do like a permutation combination thing where we were playing around with different combinations of ingredients and things to make food. Is there a limit on how much food I can carry around with me? Like, is that going to be a thing that they hard lock me at? It looks like you can have as many restoratives as, as you want, which is actually a great change. I don't like being limited to Estus flasks and stuff like that. I like having lots of utilities and potions and things on me. I think it comes from being a D&D &D player. I like to have my little backpack full of utilities. We can go over there. We can go over here. I'm going to go over here first because this seems much less foreboding. We've got an herb. we got a dollar. like we can chop down trees and stuff too was there a pickaxe over there i didn't see a pickaxe over there i don't see a pickaxe or a wood axe around after running around for a minute so i'm guessing they're just introducing us to the idea that the environment is interactable the mariner's keep what's up dude we doing this thing let's do this thing let's get let's let's oh i didn't want to do that it cues up your actions Okay, so it cues up your input, so you actually kind of want to be careful about how you play this game. Down he goes, and it looks like we have leveled up. So it's actually got a much more traditional level up structure uh, than some other games. So every level up is going to give you attribute points. I could do some attribute points. Let's get some attribute points rocked out. My stamina is terrible, so I'm probably just going to dump that first. Like That feels like the very real thing that we need to do. I think there's some pantalones over here, too. And even better, pantalones gratis. There we go. So we've got some wildling pants. Okay, so we have poise. That's what we just broke on that guy. It looks like that's going to... It's better than what we're wearing right now. The characters all look very good and stylized. I like the watercolor art style that they're going for here. Dead warriors may fall, but we will not. Upon deaf ears, prayers may fall, but we will not. Struck down, our allies may fail, but we will not. We rise. That's kind of like their little thing, huh? The Risen. That's what they do. All right. They have, like, these little hype train monologues. I don't know exactly where I want to go first. Damn, it flattened that dude. Then I got flattened in turn. Oof. Okay, that was a schnazzy little move he just pulled off. Oh, I missed that first one. I think I'm misjudging the distance. I am. That's exact. I'm getting the timing right, but I'm misjudging the distance. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. That guy's down. You got to practice with this stuff, man. My general experience with games like this is that I neglect parrying for the duration of the entire game, and then eventually they'll have a boss that can only be beaten by being parried, and at that point, uh, I will get stuck on that part for hours because I'm learning how to parry on, like, hard mode instead of gradually and incrementally learning how to do it like I should have over the course of gameplay. I tend to be a very dodgy, evasive character. Insta Ooh, a little secrety secret over here with $2 in it. I tend to be a dodgy, evasive character. Either that or I tend to go with, like, a big tower shield and do it that way instead of, like, getting into timing and parrying systems. They've never really been my passion in titles like this. Hopefully he doesn't turn around. Doesn't look like I can hit him while he's on the ground either, but it did give us a nice start. Ow. Still trying to learn to parry. There it is. We got it that time. The parry has some nice impact to it too. Another mushroom soup, eh? Pretty solid chance I'm going to need those. I'm pretty good at getting my ass beat, so I assume we're still like in the easy mode portion of the game. Is that one of the loop back ladders? Oh, that guy's got a bow. Hold on, pull him back behind cover. Don't let him have it easy. Give him a few of those. Ow, he point blanked me. I 
suppose that's probably the benefit of having a crossbow. Can I have the crossbow? I can't have the crossbow. But ladders work really well in this game. I was actually impressed with how well the ladders attach and also work in this title. We'll kick that guy down, so now we've got to loop back. What's inside this little room over here? A journal and obviously a digging spot. We've got a scrap bomb, some chipped coal, and copper ingots. Yeah, so that's a dig spot right there. That looks like it opens. That looks like, like the texture and like the model looks different from everything else. It's a little too flat, so it makes me think there's something hidden right there. All in all, first 30 minutes or so have been pretty sick, dude. I'm kind of digging what we got going on here. I'm not a big Soulsy guy, never have been, but I sort of address that other people really love those games, and it's hard to deny that FromSoft makes really high quality products, and there have been some pretty dope sort. I tend to like so I tend to like the stuff like Neo, for example. I liked Neo a lot better than I like Dark Souls because Neo was a lot less precise and a lot more action RPG. -y, I guess I did better with Neo than any of the other titles. I remember looking at Neo and people were like, this game's hard as hell. And I kind of like breezed through it because I played it almost like Diablo, like a hack and slash game. And it worked out pretty well with the optimizing of stats and whatnot. All right, a little bit of coal, a little bit of goodies right there. Let's get back up to the top. Can I get like some sick ass plate mail or something? I feel very excited about sick ass plate mail. But as I was saying previously to finish my thought, it seems like this is probably going to be a decent entry to it. The movement feels very very heavy I think that's gonna be a I think that's going to be a personal preference type deal uh, the movement feels very heavy and very chunky and I would guess maybe the people that like lighter more dashy sort of devil may cry systems may not get into it because it is quite a weighty movement system I like weighty movement systems and even I'm like this is this is a weighty meaty combat system where everything has a huge amount of implied weight and momentum to it. I like that about it, but I can definitely see some people being like, eh, it's too heavy for me. I want to, like, arcade like, hack and slash around a little bit better. But it's not really a complaint. Oh, I fell down. I didn't mean to fall down. I wanted to cross that over there. Get the rat. He might drop some meat. I don't know if we got the meat from the human or from the rat, but I'll take it either way. Beggars can't really be choosers, and judging from the rags that we're currently wearing... I'm going to say that we're probably more on the beggar end of that exchange. Seidel right here. Another hidden dollar. And then we've got ourselves a save point over here. All right, so with the save point we've got rocking around, there are some herbs and things over here. If we can find a fire to cook on, I could get myself a little bit more of the goodies, some of that mushroom stew. I like mushrooms and everything, so no complaints from me there. Some people have a real, real problem with mushrooms. I ain't one of them. Put mushrooms on everything. I love mushrooms. Okay, so that guy's like a little shiva shank guy. Oh, he throws bombs. I'm on fire in the rain. Just finish him off real fast. How do I put out fire? Does it go out on its own? It's raining on me. Why am I not going out? Did you drop anything? No. Oh, your ragdoll was being weird. I was like, what is this guy doing over here? I'm have to get this angularity right down, though. There's like an aspect of isometry to it. And I'm hoping it doesn't lean too heavily on platforming. Just because I'm not a big platforming guy. Some people might like to see that addition, though. I saw that. I saw the light source coming out of there. What you got for me? We've got a vial of focus. We've got the crow's ring, which gives us a bunch of resistances. And it makes us heal whenever we hit enemies, but we lose a fifth of our health. Okay. I'll throw it on. Why not? It'll probably make us get hit a lot chunkier. But, I mean, if we're healing a little bit... I don't mind. Do I climb that? Oh, I climb that right there. Okay. That's going to loop us back up to there. Gotcha. I didn't really want to do that. 
That was not my intent, but that's the way that it went down. I wanted him to grab onto the ladder, but I don't think he grabs onto the ladder while you're in full-on, like, haul-ass sprint mode. Ooh, I can get up onto the roof over here. Think there's anything in that room if I fall down in there? Oh, okay, I see what's going on. It's that spot that I was previously. A spooky door. The western bridge key is needed to open that. Alright, I will keep that in mind then. Let's get back to where we were. I have had a couple frame chuggies so far where it like hitches really, really hard. I noticed that the reviews were mixed, and a lot of people are reporting performance issues, and that might be, yeah, that might be it right there. You do get some little chunkies and whatnot in here, but they do have a lot of reflective lighting and water effects and things going on that would contribute to that as well. Oh, this guy's speedy. This guy's got wheels on him. Got like a little dodge move that he whips out. Oh, I overdid it with my stamina. Hold on, fall back. Yeah, he covers ground with that little combo. Can I have his dagger? He dropped his dagger right there. I'd love to play around with like a lighter weapon. Something that's a little bit quicker. A little bit of food off the rat. Oh, is there another guy? Oh, he threw a bomb at me. You can do your thing. I keep queuing up my actions on accident. They flinch a little bit when you smack them, but you got to be careful about counting your clicks because that fourth attack in the combo will get you into trouble. You drop three dollars. Where's Bomberman at over here? Come here, you. Stay moving. Down he goes. He's got two bucks for me as well. There's another signpost right there we can read. Is that a breakable? Is that a door right there? I can't see. It's so dark. We need the storage room key to get in there. I heard somebody say something about a blacksmith, though. And before I cut the video, I wanted to check out the crafting system first and foremost. Please, I don't have it. <laughs> He's pissing himself. <laughs> It looks like we're going to have to get in there in order to interact with that guy. Looks like there's stuff back over here. I don't know if I can creep in alongside this door. I can. What you got for me right there? A wildling coat. All right. Any type of armor will help at this point. I just want to be wearing, like, anything that is not random rags and associated pieces of cloth that came from a shipwreck need to be like somewhat presentable here just in case come over here I'm gonna get bombed right here though I can feel it I can smell it in the air yep I knew it dude I'm getting sizable chunks of health back, though, when I hit this guy. It looks like they lead you a little bit when they attack. All right, so I'm not on fire anymore. Are you going to swing at me this time? No, he's going to throw another fire pot at me. All right. Well, then we are going to need to heal. I knew this little corridor was going to be a big problem. Just because this, like, plays to that mob's strengths right there. Like, in wide open areas, he's kind of useless. But inside, like, enclosed areas, he seems pretty dangerous. Let's go ahead and mine this node while we're here, too. I don't know if I need to worry about weight or anything else like that, but I'm digging the game so far. A lot of people, if you're seeing the mixed reviews on this one, it's because there's performance issues, I guess. Some people are getting really, really bad performance. I have noticed some frame hitches, and it's reasonably frequent, and I'm on, like, a 4080 and everything else, too, like, top-of-the-line stuff. So, it definitely seems like there's some optimization and whatnot to be sorted out over the course of this game's early access, but I'm digging what I've seen so far. It feels weighty. It feels impactful. It feels like the production values are really high. The lip syncing is out of this world. The graphics are fairly customizable as well. And so 
definitely keep an eye on it. If you're going to get the game, though, make sure, like, check the hardware that everybody else is running because I'm getting some, some actual chuggies on kind of, like, some of the best stuff you can get right now since it's my job, you know, to do these things. Um, I've got pretty good hardware just because you never know what's going to come out. I'm still getting chuggies, so watch yourself on that front. But other than that, everything here seems to be pretty radical. Uh, my name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. This isn't necessarily an indie game, I guess, since I think the Ori devs had, like, Microsoft behind them last time, right? I didn't look to see who published this one. But it seems to be of reasonably decent quality. Oh, I don't know if I can parry the shield bash. There we go. Let me get a nice little combo off right there to get some health back. Dodge on out of it. What I like is that with my current build, yeah, I don't know if I can I don't know if I can actually parry that. There we go. Just give him a nice little crunch right there. I can shoulder barge. Oh, dude, that would have been nice to know previously. All right. We got a bomb right there. Does the bomb... It looks like the bomb adheres to the facing, not where the mouse is at. So those might be a little bit difficult to target. But then again, the game does seem to have an aspect of snap-on targeting to a lot of the enemies as well. Either way, I dig it so far. Hopefully they get the performance issues and stuff sorted out so they don't have to sit in the yellow like they're currently doing right now. That's a little bit of a bummer because... Game seems pretty cool to me, but then again, I've only been getting very light frame drops or like hitching every now and again, which is annoying, but it's not game breaking. Maybe it picks up when you get further on into the game. Someone slid through my stream while I was streaming the other day and said that they got like 10, 15 hours out of this so far. So it seems like there's content there if that word is to be trusted. Really, they've just got to sort out the performance issues that are keeping their reviews down right now. I've had some serious chuggies, but I haven't had any actual frame deaths where it drops on down. And they're saying that that's happening with the 4080s, and I have a 4080, so I was expecting it to happen to me too. But everything seems to be running okay, so hopefully they can get that sorted out. I'll see y'all later. Thank you for stopping on in, and that's about all I got for you for right now. This is no rest for the wicked. Bye, folks.